salt's not just for seasoning. Let's check out 15 other uses for salt. Salt is one of those multi-purpose items and I think we should have loads of it in our storage and different kinds. We want to have a nice fine grain salt for some things and a really coarse salt for others. So having a variety of salts can be super helpful in your pantry and that salt can be used for so many different things. There really are tons and tons of uses for it. Today I thought I'd go over 15 uses for salt that's not seasoning your food. So the first one is to remove stubborn stains like grass and things like that on your clothing. Those can be extremely difficult to get out of clothing, but taking a little bit of salt and covering the stain with it and then half a lemon and just scrubbing it with that lemon, it helps together those two help sanitize that and clean it right up. Um, some grass stains are a little tougher than others, may take a little bit extra elbow grease, but definitely it works great on stains on your clothing and things like that. So that is a wonderful way to use it. Number two is face and body scrubs. You definitely want to go with a finer grain salt for your face, but it really works great for exfoliating, getting all that dead skin off on your body. You can use a little heavier grain if you want to, but the really tiny fine grains work well for that as well. So, but it is wonderful to get all that extra dead skin off. It makes your skin nice and soft, can dry out a little bit. So you want to put some lotion on after definitely, but salt is wonderful for exfoliating and getting all that dead skin. Number three, an all natural mouthwash. Salt is wonderful for clearing out bacteria in your mouth. When you mix a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and a half cup of water, you've got a wonderful natural mouthwash that you can gargle with to clean all that extra bacteria out of your mouth. And number four, you can put a grease fire out with salt. I always heard that flour was wonderful for that, but salt also works wonderful as well. And then just cover, put your salt right on a grease fire and then put your cover or a fire blanket, whatever you have, cover that up to smother that fire out. Number five, if you mix just a little bit of salt with some water, put it on a bee sting. It will help take the sting away and reduce swelling from those. If you're allergic to bees, you want to go and have that EpiPen, uh, not just salt. So um, you want to make sure that if you're allergic to anything, you want to be paying attention to that. Salt is not going to cure an allergy, but it will help reduce the swelling and take that bite out of the sting. And number six, it's wonderful for cleaning your cutting boards, your plastic cutting boards or your wooden ones as well. We use wood all the time for our cutting boards. And if you just, sometimes the when you're cutting meat and things like that, all kinds of bacteria can get in there because it's very porous. So covering it with salt, just putting sprinkling salt all over the top and then your half a lemon again. Lemons are wonderful with salt for cleaning and just scrubbing that with half a lemon is going to kill all that bacteria in your cutting board so it is nice and clean and ready to go. Number seven, if you put just a pinch in your coffee, if you like to drink your coffee black, it will take some of that bitterness out. A lot of people add cream and sugar to help cut the bitterness, but salt actually, and it sounds kind of weird, but I know my uncle always did this, and just put a pinch of salt in there in the coffee, and it helps cut that bitterness, and it, it comes out really, really smooth. And number eight, it is great for cleaning hard water stains. So if you're a canner, uh, I know I have had trouble with this. You forget to put a little bit of vinegar in there. You get those hard water stains on the glass. You can use salt water solution and just scrub that and it will help take all that hard water stains right off of your mason jars and any glass for that matter. And number nine, it's wonderful to kill weeds with. If you've got weeds coming up in the cracks of your walkway or anything like that, if you just leave them there, they're gonna cause more cracks. 
and problems in your walkway from those roots just pushing everything around. But you can just cut, sprinkle salt over them and douse them down with some hot water and it will kill those weeds and get them out of there. So it doesn't cause more damage. Uh, a lot of times things will come back later in the year, but it's really quick and simple and gets them out of there for the time being. Because you know weeds, they just keep coming back. And you don't want to kill those good weeds that are good for eating. But the grass and things like that, you, you don't need that in your walkway. And number 10, I use this one all the time myself, and it's cleaning cast iron with salt. Salt is such so abrasive, especially the really coarse salt. And I love coarse sea salt or whatever coarse salt I can find to clean my cast iron. Because if you get anything stuck on, it really just soak your pan while it's hot and it comes out pretty clean. And then a little bit of salt on there and a little bit of scrubbing and you have got a beautiful pan. And you're not destroying that coating on your pan that you really need. You don't want to get all of that off. You want to make sure that it's clean, but it's still seasoned and ready to go for the next time. When I get done cleaning cast iron, I always wipe it dry and put a little dab of oil and wipe it on just so it's ready to go. And number 11, cleaning up raw eggs. They can be so messy and awful to clean up. I don't know if you've ever dropped an egg on the floor, but I certainly have. When you pour salt on that raw egg on the floor and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, it starts to congeal everything together. So when you wipe it up, it comes up in a big clump kind of. So it's a lot easier to clean up by just putting some salt on it, letting it sit for a few minutes, and then wipe that mess right away. And number 12, everybody should know this, it is excellent for curing meat. Back in the day, they didn't have special salts for curing meat. I know you can buy special salts to cure with and to make jerky with, and you can buy a million different kinds of salts, really. But back in the day when they were had to cure meats all the time to keep them for a longer period of time, just whatever salt they had is what they use. And just completely covering your meat the salt draws all of that liquid right out of the meat and dries it up really well. And number 13, it is excellent to clean up oven spills. I don't know about you, but I have cleaned the whole oven, got it all perfectly clean, and then the very next thing that I cooked bubbled over and made a mess. While that mess is nice and hot in the bottom, pour salt on it and just cover it right up. Let it cool down and it'll wipe right off. It makes everything clump right to that salt. So it's super easy to clean up that mess. So when you've just cleaned your oven and you've got this mess in there, it's really easy to clean up. Just pouring salt on it while it's hot and just let it cool down and then wipe out. And number 14 is to brighten your teeth. If your teeth are starting to look a little bit dingy, brushing with salt actually will brighten those teeth right up. It is quite abrasive, and I would definitely use the finest salt that you have. And but and only maybe once a week. You don't want to do it all the time because you don't want to destroy that enamel on your teeth. But you definitely, if they can brighten your teeth up for sure. And number 15, it works great to unclog drains. You can put a little bit of baking soda and salt, mix them together, put them in your drain, add a little bit of vinegar, let it do its thing, and then flush with hot water. And it really helps break all that stuff up in your drain and get it to run right through, which is wonderful. And baking soda and vinegar work really well, but adding that salt just gives it that extra kick and it really helps clean your pipes right out so everything is running through the pipes again. So those are 15 simple uses that you can use salt for. There are just so many different ways to use salt. If you have other ways that you use salt for cleaning or anything around the house, in the garden, whatever it is, whatever you're using salt for, Definitely put it in the comments. You could really help someone out with another great tip. Salt is still pretty affordable and we all should be stocking it in our pantries. So we have it on hand when it's hard to get or we just don't have the extra money for it. Because in these times, 
things are super tight and it's difficult to make ends meet and we may be able to help someone save money not purchase a product that they normally buy and use salt instead which i think is wonderful it's all natural and you're not going to hurt anything with it and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you next time bye